Right, today we're going to talk about a technique, uh, and this is a technique I should have covered a long time ago. It's the wake back to bed, the WBTB technique. And this is something I commonly refer to in videos, blog posts, on my website, on my social media, pretty much all over the place. And that's because it's a really important technique. And to be honest, I have no idea why I haven't made a video about this so far. So here we go. The wake back to bed technique, uh, as the name would suggest, involves uh, waking up and then going back to bed or back to sleep. Okay, the idea is this. When you sleep, you have sort of cycles throughout the night. Uh, these are about 90 minutes, and towards the end of these cycles, uh, you have what's known as REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep. And this is, the pe this is the period of sleep where your dreams happen most of the time, and also where you're most likely to become lucid. Uh, so you have five to six of these cycles throughout the night. Depending on how long you sleep, it varies. And then the, one, the last two or three, okay, towards when you're just about to wake up, those are the... The real lucid dreaming gold mines, okay, because you're most likely to lucid dream in those cycles, and also they're the longest, okay. So the cycle, the cycles of REM sleep get longer as the night goes on, up until the point where you wake up, right. So the wake back to bed technique involves waking yourself up just before or during those long REM sleep cycles, during you know towards the the, the morning when you're about to wake up, meaning you're more likely to become lucid. The dreams will last longer. They'll be more vivid. Uh, more exciting and you'll be more likely to remember them because you're just about to wake up okay so we do dream throughout the night however the ones that you experience towards the beginning of the night when you've just gone to sleep those ones you'll tend to forget because they'll happen and then you'll have sort of other stages of sleep and other sleep cycles and by the time you wake up you would have had several dreams and you'll usually remember only the ones you've just had the most recent which are also the longest and more likely to be lucid it kind of makes sense when you think about it so so this technique involves Going to bed at, say, let's use an example time of 10 p.m., right? You go to bed at 10. Let's say you're asleep by half 10, 11. But before then, you set your alarm to go off six hours after you've gone to sleep. So it's going to wake you up in six hours' time, right? So let's say you go to bed at 10. Uh, you would have your alarm go off at 4. Uh, you would then wake up at this time, hence the name, think about lucid dreaming, and then go back to sleep. And the idea is that this is more likely to give you a lucid dream. You're very likely to just enter a lucid dream directly. Uh, but from this point, there are two things you can do. Okay, So you've set your alarm. You've woken up during or before your lucid dreaming sleep stages. Right? We're just going to call them those for now. You can either, at this point, take your supplements. Okay, So whatever supplements you use, vitamins, uh, dream leaf, you know, vivid dream, galantamine, whatever you want to take. And I'll have some links to those in the description. This is the time to take them. Okay, just before you go back to sleep for the lucid dreaming, this is the best time because they're going to be really they're going to be active almost immediately, especially if it's on an empty stomach as well. Just take them with some water, you'll be you'll be sorted. Okay, you'll almost immediately have the effect of those supplements enter your system, right? So you can either take supplements at this time or you can listen to your binaural beats. This is something I will also link to in the description. This is the best time to use them because obviously if you go to sleep listening to them. Like I said, you're not going to remember the dreams and they're not really going to have that much of an effect on you until the early hours of the morning anyway. So the best thing to do is just to set that timer for six hours, get your deep sleep out of the way, and then when you go into your lucid dreaming sleep towards the beginning of the morning, listen to the binaural beats as you fall asleep if that's your chosen technique, or take your supplements. That's one thing you could do, the supplements and the binaural beats. The other sort of half to this is you could just use natural techniques, okay? So you can either do, the normal wake back to bed involves just going back to sleep and then you're more likely to become lucid, but you can also combine this with the wild, the wake and juice lucid dreaming technique. Okay, so once you've, you've set your timer, you've got six hours of sleep under your belt, then you wake up, do the wild then. Okay, so lay down, let your mind stay awake while your body falls asleep, and like I said, it's more likely to be lucid then. It's more likely to work, almost ten times as more 10 times more likely to work than if you tried it when you first go to sleep. I hope this makes sense. So, that's pretty much it. I want to keep this guide really simple because it kind of is a simple technique. It's, it's almost foolproof. Um, it's definitely the one I'd recommend to beginners. The only thing I would say about this technique is that if you have to be up the next day and functioning properly, i.e. you have work or school or whatever, uh, and you need to be awake and alert throughout the day, I wouldn't recommend this technique simply because you're interrupting your sleep cycle. You're, you're, you're stopping yourself have your full night's sleep in order to 
interrupt it and get in the middle of the process and have a lucid dream. So while normally lucid dreaming doesn't make you any more tired, with this technique it will, only because you're interrupting your sleep at that time. Your alarm goes off and then you go back to sleep, meaning you'll be more tired than if you just slept the whole way through. So I hope this makes sense. Uh, just another thing, if you find that you've tried this technique and you can't really remember your dreams or, or you find it doesn't work as well for you, try this. Okay, So you set the timer for six hours, you wake up, you take your supplements, you meditate, whatever you want to do. Try to only stay awake for 10 to 20 minutes though and then go back to sleep. Uh, before you do that, set your timer to go off every 20 minutes for the next three hours. Okay, So let's say you, you, you wake up and meditate, set your timer, 20 minutes. And you'll find that by doing this, by having this 20 minute timer, every 20 minutes it's going to go off and wake you up again, you're going to cut your dreams in half and you will always, almost always remember some of them. You'll interrupt the dream so that you will have waken up directly from the dream instead of just waking, waking up sort of after the dream's already happened and you've already slept afterwards. Does that make sense? So interrupt your dreams by setting a timer for every 20 minutes and you'll almost always catch yourself in the middle of a dream, meaning you'll remember it. So this is definitely sort of like a rut buster if you're finding you can't remember dreams or you're, you're struggling with any sort of technique, just just do that. Interrupt your sleep again and again in the morning and you will cut one of your dreams in half and you'll obviously remember it because you were just there. It literally has just happened. Uh, so I hope this has helped. If this has helped you, please check out my blog post on the Wake Back to Bed technique in the description. It sort of explains a bit more, goes into a bit more detail. But to be honest, guys, this is all you need to know. This video has explained the technique and you've learned it. You just need to practice it now. And that's all it comes down to, practice. So good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.